Hey everyone, I'm James, and I'm back with another video game review. This time, let's take a look at Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is Harvest Moon. This simple comparison is more or less enough to let anyone familiar with the long-running series of farming games know exactly what to expect from this recently released indie title. While Stardew Valley may not serve up anything particularly innovative, what it does offer is presented in such an appetizing fashion that one cannot help but gorge themselves, provided the first tasting is enjoyable. For those unfamiliar with the aforementioned Harvest Moon, let me offer a brief introduction. A farming game at its core, the player is, for one reason or another, handed an old rundown farm to fix up while simultaneously working towards other goals, such as looking for someone to marry, attending local festivals, mining, and various other activities. Stardew Valley does all of this as well, but manages to entwine all of these activities in such a way that keeps the player busy, while still providing a relaxing setting, somehow managing to maintain a sense of urgency and tranquility, both at once. Waking up at 6 o'clock a.m. every morning, the typical farmer's day begins with watering and harvesting crops, tending to the animals and collecting their produce, and clearing the overgrown land for further planting. From here, the day opens up, and it can be spent fishing, or perhaps delving into the mines in search of ore and minerals. Maybe the girl you likes birthday has rolled around and you want to give her something special. Or maybe you're like our editor Dan, and you enjoy waking up early in the morning so you can ride around town on your horse, giving garbage to everyone you hate. All these activities are introduced at a gentle pace, allowing the player to grow accustomed to them without being overwhelmed. While the addition of all of these new options can definitely ramp up the complexity and speed of the game, it is still completely up to the player on how fast they want to take things, as the game never really provides a hard objective to work towards, allowing one to set their own goals, such as advancing the aforementioned trash delivery service. Stardew Valley is a charming little title that is a great way to unwind at the end of the day or spend an entire Saturday playing. For that, we here at HUD give Stardew Valley four stars. Thanks for watching everyone. For more reviews like this, take a look at our channel, like, and subscribe. Till next time, I'm James, and this is Heads Up Display.